I loved. Hey, I want to do a Buzz Buzz uh, video about how to burn a butterfly and uh, the Catholic Church and how they lie. And they may not post this on Facebook, YouTube, or otherwise. They may just shred down my First Amendment and write to my own religion. You know, away like a pigeon. You know, like uh, the Reformation. You know, John Calvin with Protestant Church. They got away from the Catholics, too, but obviously not enough. Obviously. You know, it's too bad they didn't take over the Native Nations in Canada and North America and, uh, you know, Trail the Tears and all. You know, the Catholic institutions. You know, Santa Fe, New Mexico, I'm sure they're got a lot to pay for it, but uh, I don't know about massive graves and stuff like uh, Saskatchewan and the, uh, yeah, Native Americans up there, uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, all in the Catholic Church, all on them, man, God in heaven, do they need redemption, I'm in the garden, you see, I'm all good, because I work for those pedophiles and faggots, and uh, not nice nastiness. And they've definitely burned this little butterfly right there, piece by piece. They've tried anyway. I still, you know, we'll see what's, what's left of me. Maybe just that pink little wing over there left of me after the Catholic Church is done with me. Because they left me too. But, oh, God, what they did to the Native American children. Oh, my God. Well, at least all those little Native American children, they're in the garden anyway. But the federal government led them in too. With the Catholic Church... Mm-hmm. CYFD, you know, they say you're not fit to live with this family. We'll just take your shit, your kids, and we'll put them in our own institutions. In sin. Institutions. How are you going to break that down to sin? What they did to our little Native American children. And that's just one institution. 751 just in one institution. Come on. What happened in the basements down there? Oh, good God almighty. Those lizards just ate them up like candy. Unimaginable agony. And boy, don't I understand that in the worst way. So here we are today. Uh, today's uh, Sunday. June, whatever they say, 26, whatever. And it's supposed to all start today while all this information broke today about the Native Americans and the baby children. And then we can fast forward to today. Fast forward to today, loves. I'm going to try to cut short and swim simple. Boy, I can't talk right. Please forgive me. I'm a work in progress. <sighs> Let me breathe for a minute because I'm taking a Kodak moment here, loves. Mm -hmm. And I made a Native American in all their love. Can't show myself because I've been crying too much. I look like absolute chips, okay? I'm crying for them. <laughs> Absolutely. I gotta light a peace pipe smoke to them. I don't light a cigarette with tobacco. I'm going off center. Forgive me, I'm a work in progress. I know they would. They're honorable people. So, anyway. Here we are today. And you got your Bill Clintons and the Chilleries running the BLMs during the Obama administration's uh, hurting the, uh, you know, through the BLM and the Department of Justice, DOJ. Uh, you know, I don't work for the CIA. I don't work for anybody. I'm just sharing my own observations, loves. How to take a country apart. Wing by wing. Where do we start? Well, we burn one wing. Take their children away. Take their heritage away. Take their rights away. The freedom, liberty, freedom of religion, you know, persecution and servitude. Yet yeah, you... Take them down the trail of tears and just leave their bodies at the sides of the roads. Wow. You ain't no accountables. And you wonder why there's ancient prophecies and all this shit comes around. And I guess you know the time has come because you're running like a bunch of banshee chip nips. And all the truth is coming out. Ah, uh, for me too. Civil rights, civil liberties, good God Almighty. There's nothing civil about what happened here. Through the Catholic Church and the domination of the states. The states and the federal government and the Catholic Church and all the powers. And everything's gone totally silent. Making an observation here. Maybe we're sharing a little too much truth on them. Because they're lizards. 
You know, Nephilim or whatever you want to call them. Time for them to go. You go, don't we? Or I want to go. I don't care, man. I got a golden ticket. I know I'm pure plasma energy. Maybe that's why they won't give me death, because they know that I want it. Out of here. For the truth. The truth. Just from the truth alone. I went out. It's far too magnificent for me, because as the name of children, and it's my children, too. My children, too. My civil liberties and rights. I don't even have the right to know if my children are alive or dead. I don't. I don't have a right to even video call them, even though I'm two hours away from them. I don't have the right to uh, ask for any kind of uh, information that I don't have to pay for or be billed for about my children's welfare. I can't call uh, to even do a welfare check on them, see if they're alive or dead, because now I'm told it's an abuse of power for on a unsubstantiated uh, DV order, which took my First Amendment, well, my Second Amendment, took my right to protect myself from anybody right away, boom, and really took away my First Amendment, you know, my right of freedom and religion and, you know, uh, not, you know, innocent to proven guilty, so to say. Uh, and I didn't, for me, it didn't go that way. I was guilty. Took my First Amendment to the life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Well, I'm not happy because the justice system has failed me. My family's failed me. So many people have failed me and abandoned me. It's not freaking funny. And that's just the way it is. But, hey, they did the American Native American children too, didn't they? And worse than me. I'm blessed abundantly. I want for nothing, man. I'm blessed compared to them. Maybe people have to remember this shit. What it was like to be taken down to the basement by the Catholic priest or nun who's supposed to save your ass. Good God Almighty. In the garden, thank God those children are there. They deserve a monument for what happened there. More than that shit. Give it up. I said chit, C H I T. I have a problem with my S's and my, and my C's. You know, my S's, S's, S's. I have a problem with that. Uh, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> because I want this to be for children. I want this to be for the heritage of our country and the domination of religion that does not belong. No. We deserve better. As a nation, I'm, I'm glad the truth is coming out, but whoa, 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 when it does. And you wake up to the facts, Jax. Who chip nip nips? Yeah, they burn you slowly and take your energy. Take your children away and say you're not fit. Make up shit about you. you give them legal permission. Take your children once you're dependent on the state. You can do whatever the hell they want with your ass. And your children, too, obviously. We don't like how you're living. You have to go to a nursing home. What rights do you really have? None. If you're in the system, that is. Confirmation. You're in any state system. There's supposed to be separation of church and state, and there's not. There's the togetherness of the Catholic Church and the state through CYFD, ATV, the whole freaking court system, everything. They're all in it together. The biggest child ring in the history of man, and it's all out coming now. Good God help him. Damn. Damn. God help them because the truth is far more powerful than the sword. It really is. Let me tell you what, it can be so fucking dark. Oh, God, I skipped. Dang, damn it. Please forgive me if kids are watching. I slipped a chip. It's hard not to. Maybe I should just do this for not for children. Because they raped, sodomized, broke their bones, beat them if they even spoke their language. Yeah, there's no going back now. There's no going back from the truth. There's no going back from COVID. There's no going back from uh, uncivil liberties and our federal government leading our poor patriots into the Capitol building on the 6th. After, you know, Trump was mostly peaceful. He didn't tell him to hunt anybody or hurt anybody in any way. You know, just stand up for your patriotic rights in your country. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Much like my grandfather, John Ryder, who gave his right, his life, and everything else for the freedom and liberties of religion and freedom for everyone. Uh, across the seas, back when he fought his own brothers. 
and Homeland for, you know, the liberties and rights of others. But uh, that's not happening in our country. If you're conservative in any way, you don't have a voice. No way. Nope. Nope. Civil liberties. I'm not talking just specifically about me. But what civil liberties do you have when you need assistance from a state? And they say how you live and how you don't and what you do and what you don't. And the state institutions of our schools, lest we forget our schools and our children, God help us. You're teaching them pornographic frickin' material, but you won't teach them the Constitution. You won't let them how to read How to Kill a Mockingbird. But you, you want to teach them about discrimination? You guys are ass backwards at best and our children are failing. At best. And you failed them. You know, Common Core, Heliophant, H-E-L-I-O-P-H-A-N-T. Look at the movie. And we were stupid enough to fall for it. Let's see. Shall we? You know, Hillary Clinton and the BLM and Omar Abedin and Anthony Weiner and John Podesta. Huh? The campaign managers? Shall we forget? Spying on Trump? Good God Almighty. An incoming president? How far do we got to go? Before you know... Huh? How far do we got to go before you know what the hell is going on here? It's all blood on the Catholic Church. Now I understand my son Lucas and how why he was so bitter. Maybe that's why he hated me for going taking him to church because he saw an institution that was at its worst. Maybe he saw something. I don't know. He won't tell me. I made him go to church and he freaking hates me. So he must have seen something I ain't seen. Let alone what his dad taught him to do, anyway. How to burn your mother one wing at a time. How to tell lies behind her back and make her look awful, because who knows why. After she was, you know, a good mother, you, it's, people can do this to people who are good mothers. I'm not just talking about me. I'm really not squashed. I'm just sharing my story and how... You know, I was uh, hurt by a priest or a minister, whatever you want to call him, one time too. And now it's all coming out and it's all, you know, these people have demanded these documents in Saskatchewan uh, in the Maria Eval institution for 10 years to find out about their loved ones and their children and their ancestors. And they're dragging their ass to the Catholic Church because they don't want the truth, much like Michael Rubin would do, don't want the truth. Don't want the truth. Can't handle the truth. Can't live up to it. Just fall away then. Your time is done, Catholic Church. You're finished. There's no redeeming you now, I see. No wonder I didn't resonate and I couldn't go back to you. Because you pay people to pay for, to have their sins forgiven. 13, 13. Yeah, as long as you pay your penance. And your uh, uh, third, uh, 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 what do we call it, uh, 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 um, tithing. And you pay for that confession. Hey, you're free to go and do it again. Father says so. Oh, God, help me. I kind of don't want to go there, but I guess I have to. You're supposed to call no man father but God, period. He's just amazed as a priest. Excuse me, i got to inhale this. God, help me. Please forgive me. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. Yeah, I've swallowed enough venom from the Catholic Church. I only served him for five years, became a certified catechist of the Archdiocese of Santa Fe. They even let me use my own name as a confirmation name, Laurel, Laurel and Laurel. Ryder Graves more, or however you want to say it anymore. Mm-hmm. But I'm a certified catechist, altar server, choir singer, uh, 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 CCD uh, uh, director and teacher, uh, confirmation, First Holy Communion. Uh, uh, I could even give you death rites for your last, you know, kind of sort of thing. I need a priest for that. You see, you need a priest for that. You need a priest for your last rites because women can't do that shit. But you could be a pedophile or a faggot. And is everybody okay with this? Or am I telling it to truth? Sorry. What is their telescope's name? Their telescope, Lucifer. Yeah. He's been worshiping him for years and years and now. Now, 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 now. Oh, God help us all. I need a drink of my Joe. Now we see the truth. 
and my ex, Michael Rubin Ledoux, uh, with his grandfather, T.P. Martinez, uh, and all them owned Taos and totally took advantage of the Native Americans and probably took all their children and sent them down to Santa Fe to the schools. I'm quite certain. Until Sinians just wrap themselves in blankets. I sit around. They make images of this, you know. People wrapped in blankets, sitting under uh, door store fronts and stuff. Those are the Native Americans. You know why they wrap themselves in blankets on a hot summer day? You might wonder why. How the heck are they breathing in there? Shit. C-H-I-T, I'm not cousin. I'm trying not to anyway. That's very difficult. As you say. This is not topographical for children, but it's history, and it should be documented in my way. This is my art, my form. You don't like it, go away. Yeah, it's Norway. No matter me. Nope, because I'm just... You better watch that, though. Documenting for history. You got room over here, you know. Plenty of room. <laughs> With the Native Americans, there's plenty of room for everybody. Everybody has a space, and everybody eats. But under the Catholic institution, boy, you take everything away. All your domination. Boy, you got away with it forever. Yeah, you took all the money of the Knights Templars. Made, oh, just said, said, said. See, I can't even stay still with that. Said they were faggots and pedophiles. And then you burned them. Mercilessly boiled them. Ooh. Much like you did to Joan of Arc, too, in France. You know, she so close to winning the war in England, you gave her up and let them put her at her stake. Let her beg for all her work and love of her country. You gave her up. Oh, let's try Valentine. Say Valentine. You celebrate it every year, but you don't even know the story, do you, dear? You know, he's married people in secret because they loved each other. They wanted to be together, but, uh, no. Uh, they wanted to give, you know, the British first hand at screwing your women before your wedding is over, you know, for consecration. They take your wife for the night and let all the soldiers have that at her. And then you get her back after they've impregnated her or tried to. History just goes and goes and goes. It's really weird. You know, it's hard for me to get my head around it. Mm -hmm. The domination of that through the English and the Catholic Church. Yeah. Oh, uh, Longshanks. Yeah. He had a bread with the uh, 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 Scottish. Yeah. They just took him over. But you couldn't get married in uh, secret. But when they found out Valentine was marrying people in secret, what did they do to him? Oh, my God, he's full of love and everything. They chopped his head off in front of everybody. <laughs> nice Catholic church. Really showing love. Wow. I wonder what Jesus would say about that. Hmm. Hmm. What did he preach? About love. And what do you do, Catholic Church? You take the Native American children that he picked oh, and loved. I don't go off. You plucked his most precious, most meekest, most innocent of all. Native American children. Yep, it desecrated them all. Hope you're proud of yourself. Hope you're really proud of yourself. Oh. Okay. Watch out what you plan for. You might just get it, fuckers. This isn't for children. I don't think I could even redeem you anymore. You're so far out the door. And the federal government and CYD are all, all in it together. Catholic Church, CYFD, ACB, Judicial ABC. Yeah. State, local government, all the way up. Yeah. Church and state are supposed to be separate? No, they're not. You have state run schools on these school boards. Teaching these children it's okay to be uh, pornographic, but it's not okay to you know your liberties, your rights, or the laws. Just be ignorant. Yeah. And don't forget to take a stick of COVID for the cause. Which will never be the same again. So, hey, whatever happened, I'm good. Yep. 
You'll find me in the garden, man. Find me in the garden because when people can say anything, get away with it. When it comes to the evidence of it, oh uh, man. No, we didn't do that. We deny it. We didn't do that, but they won't prove it. They won't show the records of all those little kids they brought in. Or what they did to them. But they found the graves. They find graves. You know, I have a grave too. You know my gravestone's gonna say kind of maybe? Or one of the things. Yeah. Fuck them. I think God says fuck you. His mother doesn't care what you do to her little children. You know, the Hopis have prophesied this. Come, whatever. Either way, at least the truth is coming. At least the truth is here. Whether the world goes crap and explodes or sun, we get a CME to the max. I'm holding. I'm holding my faith. I'm holding my light. Even though I'm a burning butterfly into my garden. Because they've taken my reputation. They've set me up. Took my children. And listened to uh, the darkness. And that Michael Rubin is all tied up with the Catholic Church. The whole state of New Mexico. Everything. His grandfather owned it. I can't wait to hear the history of Taos. And what uh, T.P. Martinez did to the natives. Mm -hmm. How he took advantage of them. Sent their children to the uh, Santa Fe school down in Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. To retrain them. I could well imagine what they suffer. I wonder how many graves are out there we don't know about. Yeah. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Wonder if uh, all the natives got their little babies back. Or if they got an honorable burial. They happen to bite the chips in CYFD or state custody. Because there's no division in it. No checks and balances ever. None. Just do what you want. However you want. Count me in. I'm part of the evil one. Catholic domination. Supposed to be separation of church and state, and there ain't. You're trying to distance yourself from Joe Biden. Good luck with that. Just shows exactly how corrupt you are. Huh? Hey, pedophiles and faggots, man. <laughs> He's been in long enough to be associated with you long enough to show exactly who you are. And whose side you're on, Catholic Church? Yeah, I see that little. See a little light right there in the handle? I don't know if you can see that green reflection. It kind of looks like a heart. It's kind of pretty there. I don't know. I'm not doing that. But it puts a spotlight on you, doesn't it? Catholic Church in the darkness. That our, it is, it's funny as how that's outside the garden, right? Huh. Outside the garden. That little light. Well, you had your shot. Do the right thing, you know. You know. And you shine your light in the darkness and made a bad bad. There's a spotlight on your shit right there. And you don't go in the garden. You dark, dark not to even, boo, boo, boo. Yeah, you go off to darkness out there into oblivion. You see how that light's going off. And I don't know if you can see that reflection or not. I'm not doing that, but. Yeah, you, you nastiness, you. You don't go in the cup. You're not worthy. You just bounce off or you drown. Like a fly in the coffee. You drown, you don't go in ever. And enjoy the warmth, comfort. You're going to be outside the gate here. The dark matter, man, where you freaking belong. I'm not doing that effect with the, uh... Blue that you see here or whatever. Uh, blue. I'm not doing that. Talk to God about it. Maybe he's talking. But yeah, you know, we're praying for you, dark, you know. Been a lot of, you know, God, dang... What more do you need? Well, in the garden is a new way. I don't know. I personally don't think we're worthy. Huh? I don't. 
And there are some who are. There are some who are light. Some within the Catholic Church who are good priests, who had good intentions. Like Father Academy Zaruka. But he was also a man and he realized and recognized he had to fight his flesh. All the time, every day. He was just a man anyway. But he walked with small feet but had a big faith. Good man. So there are some. You want to know Father Academy Zaruka's life story? Quite amazing, actually. Still a priest on the left. Still a priest on the left. <laughs> Funny I said that. That was accidental. Freudian slip, I guess. You know. Yeah, the left wing. Lean this whole communistic thing. But the power of the church and the state. No. If I'm correct, I could be wrong. It's supposed to be separate. Yeah, I'm going to leave that little thing of darkness out there. It doesn't go in the gate. A little green light. Looks like a heart. Maybe a green heart of envy. Hard to say. I'm not doing the light effects. A goalie God could do that. i just filming what I see. Saying what I've seen. Saying what I've seen. You may not agree with me. Not my head. Sorry. Bump in the road. Yeah, I've had lots of those. Catholic Church straight up abandoned me. And obviously all these other children too. Served all Okay, as long as you're corrupt, man. It's okay as long as you're corrupt. Now it's over. There's so much corruption everywhere in our government. Just start with JFK and MLK. And if it gets just gets worse from there, Lenin Bay. All right, and then from there you have uh 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 uh. Well, let's start with the Calvary. Jay Roosevelt, he was in charge of massacring a lot of Indians. Trail of Tears and all that, you know, Lincoln, Civil War, you know, the free liberties. I find this for a long time, but anyway, I'm getting long winded. 2713. So, yeah, uh, and then you go to, you know, Johnson, left Kennedy, and then, you know, you got Nixon, and uh, Ford, and, uh, you know, harder, and, uh, yeah, gas shortage, and yeah, we're kind of there now. And, um, same thing. I told the committee, you know, I ran. We're just in the same place again, ma'am. And, um, but then now we got COVID. So that's really going to chaos. You know. And then from uh, Carter, thing, you know, I think we're going to be with Carter and then Ford. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you know, and um, then you had uh, uh, Bush. Oh, lest we forget, you know, Bush Sr. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the one who orchestrated uh, CIA and uh, JFK's, I believe, I believe. And it's just me. Don't take my word for it. I don't know. You can check it. I think he was the bush in the grassy knoll taking the shot on uh, Kennedy. Yeah. And he went straight to the top of the CIA, man. Or the FBI. Oh, my God. Confirmation. Oh, and then after that, let me see. Then you had Bush and then you had uh, Reagan. Oh, yes, yes. Reagan rocked. I love Reagan. He was all right. He was a good light in the darkness, you know, bring down that wall. Yeah. Gorbachev. That was great. Magnificent. Okay. Well, well, then it wasn't enough, though, unfortunately, for us. Uh, yeah, it wasn't enough for us. Okay. So, then after Reagan, then then we went to Clinton, if I think if I'm correct. Well, we know we got on Clinton. Uh, Arkansas Mafia. That's been... Yeah, you know, proven. Uh, how many people have died under them? Gosh, I wish I remember that poor dude's name. God forgive me, I can't. Uh, and then uh, let me see. Then they clicked uh, to to Monica Lewinsky. Everybody knows he was banging. He's such a woman. He couldn't keep his eyes off Ivana. At an event, man. He's looking at Ivana drooling, taking her clothes off. It's obvious to Chillery. And all she cared about was the power. She didn't care how he dipped his little willy, Billy. As long as she got her BLM and her DOJ, man. She wanted the presidency in the worst possible way. Well, I don't know where we would be today. But she got in charge of New York, and then she went straight to DOJ. Wow. What a miracle, kind of, sort of, maybe. What a miracle. Under, uh, what was his second Bush administration? The Obama administration. 
Yeah, she was definitely a shoot all the ass of the Obama so She ran the whole DOJ and the Department of Justice and the BLM and everything. Yeah, quite corrupt and unbelievable. And yeah, we were all okay with this, and we knew that Bill was lying and lied right straight to the American people. <coughs> yeah, it's okay. We were led. Oh, we forgive him. Yeah, yeah every, you know, every fucker deserves a fucker and a cigar. Up to, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. You lied and got away and no one checked that shit. No, that's okay. That's okay. We got you on white water and all this corruption, and it just got to be, you know. I wish I could remember that poor dude who died, man. Let alone Benghazi. Unless we forgot, you know, Benghazi. You know, and, uh, 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 Muammar Gaddafi was not the best. He was a great leader. He, his people loved him, and look at what he did to him. Yeah, we came, we saw, he died. <laughs> Hillary Clinton with Uma Abedin. What happened to Anthony Weiner? Was he out there pulling it somewhere or something? Probably, still. Sending lewd pictures to kids and shit. And, uh, that's, oh, that's okay, though. That's okay, we haven't heard nothing of it, actually. We haven't heard nothing of it. Nothing. No, no. No, but we know Epstein, he had the chin on everybody, including Prince, uh, Albert, or whatever his name is. <laughs> I can't remember his name. The Prince. You know, uh, I know we got, uh, him, uh, him yeah. Mm. Yeah, they're all Nephilim. It don't matter, right? And all of them. So, anyway. Yeah, you know, caught with, uh, girls with Epstein. And, oh, who rode to Pleasure Island? Bill Clinton, uh, all of them. But Pleasure Island, to, you know, Epstein. I don't know. You guys are going to fucking hate me. All right. So I don't give a shit. I'm just blabbing it out and as I see it. Am I calling? I'm kind of missing on what the shit I could be doing rather than regurgitating this history. There would be no pay to play for Clinton University, Clinton University. Let's forget, uh, shall we forget Haiti and the big Clinton Foundation? Huh? And all that money they were supposed to raise for the earthquake victims in Haiti? Hmm. Yeah, what happened to that, Haiti? Yeah, it's way out there in space somewhere. You never saw a dime. But the Clinton Foundation got rich. And Hillary Rodden's, Clinton's brother is running all the gold now in uh, Haiti. So who got screwed there? I'd say the Haitians be hating the Clintons. And I've heard them try to talk about it and they get shut down. But lest we forget that shit, shall we? Okay, we're not even getting to Uranium One. Under the Clinton administration. Russia knows all about it. Okay. That was all. That's what the Oregon standoff was about. Because the BLM. Was trying to take all the land in Oregon. Because they wanted the mineral rights. So they were doing everything. To Lavoy Finnegan. And uh, the Bundys. To run them off their land. Make any excuse. Burn them out. Flood them out. Whatever you got to do. We want those mineral rights, and that's what that standoff was about. And then they're over at the Bureau of Land Management, you know, a public uh, reserve for birds and stuff, you know, and they're out there protecting it. The boy Finnegan, he's standing up for the Native American artifacts that the federal government don't give a shit about. Yeah, the boy Finnegan, who's an honorable man, you know, it was awful to see. Adopted a bunch of kids. He was a great man. I'm sure his family miss him every day in Oregon. God bless him. Let alone Armand Bundy. I think he's still in prison. God help him and his family. But yeah, the BLM under Clinton administration, through direct directions, killed Lavoy Finnegan because he was standing up for his rights. He wanted to go see the sheriff, and he had every right to do that because in any county, the sheriff has the last word. He has the last of the jurisdiction on any uh, 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 civil action comes down to the sheriff. But I'm watching a bunch of BS on this camera today, going over that hearing, saying that they had a right to use deadly force on Lavoy Finnegan and those poor people in that truck, exercising their constitutional rights. <whistles> what a bomb. And all Lavoy Finnegan was asking was, hey, follow along. We're not a hurt to anybody. We just want to get to the sheriff. The last word in town, supposedly, but obviously not, because they got stopped. And the boy Finnegan died innocently in front of his friends and everybody. In cold blood. Yeah, they say he reached for his left. Well, why? Shall we ask why he reached for his left? Because you shot him in his fucking left. Of course he reached for it. But you smoothed that over. Smooth as snot in summer. They're saying, well, he, we have justified because he reached for his left. You shot him there. Of course he's going to reach for it, you idiots. How stupid do you think the American people are? Pretty freaking stupid the way you run the narrative. I see how you try to make things seem 
and as awful as the Nephilim 3444. Oh, God. Lord, heaven help me. I'm on a roll. I'm on a ride, man. Riding her out. I'm just saying it like I see it. Dang, never anyway. Heavenly Father, help us all. Good God Almighty. How do you destroy a country? One wing at a time. It's like a butterfly. No. Oh, it's like a butterfly right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that first ring right there. That first wing that's burning right there. Take a burn one at a time. Because you guys have burned us nice and slow. Confirmation. Like the Native American children. Through the Catholic Church. You've burned that big time. And here we are today all. Fast forward. No division of church and state, really. You're teaching our children state and state. There's supposed to be public education, not state-run education, fed by the mind, fed. Oh, my God, find me. And you're teaching our children pornography. And it's okay to know how to uh, dance on a pole, but not know uh, the golden role. Figures. I gotta go, but I'm gonna post this as soon as I know. I'm gonna pray in a new way for everybody. Drago, you're drunk. Go away. You don't give me a say. Yeah, much like my country doesn't give me a say. No distractions. Go away, Draco. Whatever. I got things to say. And I'm gonna say them my way. This is my art. Like I said, if you don't agree with me, just go away. Don't listen to me. I'm crazy. And I'm old, remember? I've earned it. Baby. That's I, way look at me. Yeah, I'm old and I'm crazy. It's just me, man. I don't know nothing. I'm nothing. Yeah, but obviously they want to know my opinion. Phew. You know? <laughs> Go away, Draco. You're bugging me, man. All right? A dragon, yeah. I didn't miss nothing. So anyway, now I got them calling me. Right here, call Joey. Busy. Why well, called me? So I'm using my phone for recording. Well? And I got people calling. Yeah, but you don't know my number. Yeah, they do. They have your number, Joey. Draco does. Yeah, and Albert does. Oh, I know Albert. Oh, does. Albert, all that are calling. See, I'm getting interruptions and distractions, 3737. Where's your phone at, baby? Do you know? Mm. Are you? Thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. Paulette's calling. You know, one of the other they calling you distractions, whatever. I knew they were calling. Yeah, call on Joe's phone. They're interrupting, and sending again. You know, you know. Here comes the demons. Here they come. I bet you dimes of dollars. I haven't even answered Paulette, and I already know that she wants to have a go for some reason. Oh no, no. I'm trying to see Oh, absolutely. I'm kind of busy. I got to take my medicine here. Where's Paulette? Paulette Mullen, right there. She could have called on Joe's phone, but no, no, no. They want to call my phone and distract me. So we'll see what's up, shall we? I freed up time on my phone. That's okay with me. Oh, let me get that. I got it right here. Yeah, we're totally good. Healing up. Doing my thing. Not hurting anybody. Hello? Yeah, I'm calling on Joe's phone because I'm busy filming. I don't really want to be interrupted. Hello? Hello? Is anybody home? You know, uh, yeah, is anybody in there? Hello, seven, hello, one, hello. Nine, is seven, there anybody seven, in there? Eight, eight, Just nod seven, if you can hear two. me. Is there anyone home? I'm calling from Joe's phone. You know, and I don't want to interrupt my feed. And, you know, I like to smoke a little weed. <laughs> it's great medicine. Hello? No, nothing yet, man. I'm calling back on Joe's phone. Hello? Hey, you were trying just, to reach me, love. What's up? I just left you a message, and here's what's up. Is there's a real big possibility that both Albert and I have COVID. So we are not uh, safe to be around. Okay. We're going to call our doctors tomorrow because that's what we have to do. You have to call your primary care doctor to get a test. Oh, yes. And they don't do it in the office. I don't know where they do, they're do. they doing them now, but they don't do it at the hospital. They won't see you at the hospital or urgent care. So uh, 
out. They're doing it out in the state at the fairgrounds. They were doing it, unless I'm wrong. That's where they're giving vaccinations, but I'm not sure that that's where they're testing people. Oh, that's go, oh. like the hospital told me I have to go through my primary care doctor. Oh wow, that's a switch. So Called them and and it, it's on the recording if you want to check that out. It's oh no, I don't need to. They say if you're interested in COVID, press one, and then they give you all the scoop. And so, huh? Um, oh. I just you was thinking I probably should let you guys know because I talked to um, well, our friend in Uganda was the first one that told me, but I've talked about three or four people today that have told me you need to get to a doctor. So. Well, that's the right thing to do. If you know, if you can't go down to you know the state at the fairgrounds to get a test, you used to be able to. We stood in line for those. Um, and go to your doctor, then absolutely, yeah, that's the way to go. Yeah, it's, it, we're not trying to get a shot; we're just trying to get tested. Yeah, and there's you yeah, know they, medicines they, they can are, give you to help. Yeah, you're doing they, the right thing. As far as I know, they are not testing people at the fairgrounds. Yeah, I heard you. Yeah, just through your primary. So how soon can you get into your primary? Do you know? I have no idea. I've never done this before. And I'm sure mm -hmm. that she's got a protocol all set up for this. And I just have to call there and find out what it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And go get I tested. Yeah. doctors in the same office. So. Oh, that's great. There you go. Yeah, that makes it convenient. For sure. Yeah. I don't think, they, I don't think you can go there. I think they have to, wherever they're doing the testing, your doctor has to send you. You can't oh yeah, in. hopefully you can get the results right away. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It took my sister-in-law a few days, and it took my—I didn't take my nephew a day because he was so sick. They, yeah, he was really bad. So okay, all anyway, right. Well, stay I down and, and stay hydrated. You know the drill, and get to that uh, doctor's office. Maybe they can give you a pill. Well, I don't think there's any pills for it, as far as I know. My nephew ended up on uh, on antibiotics after he um, they discovered he also had diverticulitis and a hernia tear in the left side of his abdomen well and you know out and couldn't be yeah around because he was in so much pain yeah well i mean you just yeah, do what you gotta do and stay down and stay cool and we'll be all right and okay. you let me know how it's going okay all right love say bye <laughs> yeah Play it up. Good way to stay away. It's good for me. Leaves us in balance and harmony. And if they have it, we're exposed. So, do you know anybody who's been exposed? Yeah. And let people we rent from. They've been exposed. We live right here with them. Yeah, that puts us at risk too. Got a sword? Don't it? Boo. Or is that it? Or is that you got a clue, boo boo? Hey, boo boo. Did you get a clue? Did you get a clue? Yeah. Yeah, because we're in proximity. Do you know somebody who's been exposed? Yes. I live with them. Rose. We have to say that to our doctors, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We do? I don't got a doctor. <laughs> well, really, the only thing we've done is go in and use the bathroom. We haven't cooked or cleaned or really been in proximity. Yeah. Outside of using the bathroom. But yeah. they've been exposed, and we live in their proximity. But we haven't been with them or we talking to them. Nobody. Or close to them. You know, so I don't know what that's going to do. But, you know, it does throw in a shoe. And, you know, I kind of have a clue. And Draco wants to talk to me, but I don't want to talk to him. Much like Stephen Deshaun. Everybody wants to be right when everybody's wrong. Including me. I'm glad I didn't stop the video. It's going to be a long upload on YouTube. I never claim to be right. Hmm. Well, like I said in the song by Blue Oyster Colt... I'm not the one to tell you what's wrong or what's right. You can find me in the garden. I've seen suns that were freezing and lives that were through. But I'm still burning, I'm still burning, I'm still burning for you, my father. Yeah. Whatever happens, man, pff, chips anyway, no big deal, it's a freaking flu. Get over it. Unless you're fat and heavy and overweight, man, then you're not going to do so good if you got it. If you're heavy and you're overweight and you're overage and you got underlying problems, you're probably not going to make it back. And you guys got all of the above. I pray for you. You're going to need it. I'm at far less risk. I'm not heavy and I'm not diabetic. 
Uh, you might not want to eat that chocolate cake. I don't know. Hey, Michael. Anyway, so I'll pray for y'all. And Heavenly Thing, we need such a new way. It's just so awful today. <laughs> yeah. This too shall pass like ass. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. In a new way, a new way, a new way, I pray. That's a certain day. Because God really is the only certainty in the universe. Where we become again, and uh, what that little flame right there? That little plasma flame, see how it's growing right there? Eat, eat, eat. Play with that light. That's how we become again. You like tickle it, eat, so that your energy is to grow a little bit. Shine light, and it shines a lot. Yeah. That's how we become. <laughs> I can almost feel that right there. Yeah. Look at that, how it plays with the light. Yeah. Mm hmm. I can even just maybe send my energy to it. Yeah. Hmm. Let it grow a little, a little stronger, a little stronger, a little stronger. Look at that. Is that pretty? Yeah. A little light. Yeah. yeah it's pretty. Yeah. It's like touching, touching, you know, the light of God right there in the garden. Right there. I will walk. Through the garden, alone, while the dew is still on the roses. <laughs> and the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. Yeah. I know, I know it, I feel bad for those who don't. Yeah, you find love in the darkness. That little heart, that little green heart right there, it's pretty cool. I can't make that up, loves. If you see that reflection, I don't know if it's there or not. I think it's just a reflection, but that's okay. <laughs> There's light in the darkness. <sighs> Truly, I say. A new way, a new way, a new way, baby. Love y'all. Have faith in the love, not in the religion, babies. It's a new way. <laughs>